Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and you are watching Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. The Copernicus Sentinel 2A satellite takes us over part of northern Brazil's Marajó Island in Pará State. Sediments discharged by the nearby Amazon River mouth, although not pictured, are visible in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean north of the island. The land area pictured is dominated by a savanna landscape with mangrove forests and palm swamps along the coast. The area is known for its large plantations, called fazendas, with animal husbandry. Although not native to the island, domesticated water buffalo outnumber Marajo's human population. Popcorn clouds are visible in the upper part of the image, formed by condensed water vapor released by plants and trees during the sunny day. On the left side of the image, we can see Lake Arari, the size of which fluctuates greatly between the rainy and dry seasons. Sentinel-2 images Earth in 13 spectral channels. Scientists can select which wavelength combinations to process over a given area to help better understand targets on the ground. The channel combination used to create this image is particularly useful for identifying different vegetation types and helps us to distinguish it very clearly from inland water bodies. Here, water appears dark blue, while vegetation appears in a variety of bright colors. For the non-expert, we can verify this by looking at the same image in a different channel combination, similar to what we would expect in a photograph. Here we can see the lush mangrove forests, which appear orange, in the false color image. Lake Arari appears brown from sediments in the water. And we can see the sediments at the top of the image, discharged by the Amazon River mouth. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that to learn more about space or about our planet, visit our website, www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV Studios, have a great day.